Beta Glucan, Wikipedia article audio. Not to be confused with beta glycan. Beta glucans comprise a group of beta D glucose polysaccharides naturally occurring in the cell walls of cereals, bacteria, and fungi, with significantly differing physicochemical properties dependent on source. Typically, beta glucans form a linear backbone with 1 to 3 beta glycosidic bonds but vary with respect to molecular mass, solubility, viscosity, branching structure, and gelation properties, causing diverse physiological effects in animals. History Structure At dietary intake levels of at least 3 grams per day, Oat fiber beta glucan decreases the levels of blood cholesterol and may reduce the risk of heart disease. Beta glucans are used as texturing agents in various nutraceutical and cosmetic products, and as soluble fiber supplements, but can be problematic in the process of brewing. Cereal and fungal products have been used for centuries for medicinal and cosmetic purposes, however, the specific role of beta-glucan was not explored until the 20th century. Beta-glucans were first discovered in lichens, and shortly thereafter in barley. A particular interest in oat beta-glucan arose after a cholesterol-lowering effect from oat bran reported in 1981. In 1997, the FDA approved of a claim that intake of at least 3.0 grams of beta-glucan from oats per day decreased absorption of dietary cholesterol and reduced the risk of coronary heart disease. The approved health claim was later amended to include these sources of beta-glucan, rolled oats, oat bran, whole oat flour, oatrim, whole grain barley and barley beta fiber. An example of an allowed label claim, soluble fiber from foods such as oatmeal, as part of a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, may reduce the risk of heart disease. A serving of oatmeal supplies 0.75 grams of the 3.0 grams of beta-glucan soluble fiber necessary per day to have this effect. The claim language is in the Federal Register 21 CFR 101.81 Health Claims, Soluble Fiber from Certain Foods and Risk of Coronary Heart Disease. Glucans are arranged in six-sided D-glucose rings connected linearly at varying carbon positions depending on the source, although most commonly beta-glucans include a 1 to 3 glycosidic link in their backbone. Although technically beta-glucans are chains of D-glucose polysaccharides linked by beta-type glycosidic bonds, by convention not all beta-D-glucose polysaccharides are categorized as beta-glucans. Cellulose is not typically considered a beta-glucan, as it is insoluble and does not exhibit the same physicochemical properties as other cereal or yeast beta-glucans. Some beta-glucan molecules have branching glucose side chains attached to other positions on the main D-glucose chain, which branch off the beta-glucan backbone. In addition, these side chains can be attached to other types of molecules, like proteins, as in polysaccharide K. Beta-glucan types the most common forms of beta-glucans are those comprising D-glucose units with beta-1-3 links. Yeast and fungal beta-glucans contain 1-6 to six side branches, while cereal beta-glucans contain both beta-1-3 and beta-1-4 backbone bonds. The frequency, location, and length of the side chains may play a role in immunomodulation. Differences in molecular weight, shape, and structure of beta-glucans dictate the differences in biological activity. Beta-glucans form a natural component of the cell walls of bacteria, fungi, yeast, and cereals such as oat and barley. Each type of beta-glucan comprises a different molecular backbone, level of branching, and molecular weight which affects its solubility and physiological impact. 
One of the most common sources of beta-D-glucan for supplement use is derived from the cell wall of baker's yeast. Beta-glucans found in the cell walls of yeast contain a 1,3 carbon backbone with elongated 1,6 carbon branches. Other sources include seaweed, and various mushrooms, such as reishi, shiitake, chaga, and maitake, which are under preliminary research for their potential immune effects. Fermentable Fiber In the diet, Beta-glucans are a source of soluble, fermentable fiber also called prebiotic fiber which provides a substrate for microbiota within the large intestine, increasing fecal bulk and producing short-chain fatty acids as byproducts with wide-ranging physiological activities. This fermentation impacts the expression of many genes within the large intestine which further affects digestive function and cholesterol and glucose metabolism, as well as the immune system and other systemic functions. Cereal beta-glucans from oat, barley, wheat, and rye have been studied for their effects on cholesterol levels in people with normal cholesterol levels and in those with hypercholesterolemia. Intake of oat beta-glucan at daily amounts of at least 3 grams lowers total and low-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels by 5 to 10 percent in people with normal or elevated blood cholesterol levels. Oats and barley differ in the ratio of trimer and tetramer 1 to 4 linkages. Barley has more 1 to 4 linkages with a degree of polymerization higher than 4. However, the majority of barley blocks remain trimers and tetramers. In oats, beta-glucan is found mainly in the endosperm of the oat kernel, especially in the outer layers of that endosperm. Cereal Enterocytes facilitate the transportation of beta-glucans and similar compounds across the intestinal cell wall into the lymph where they begin to interact with macrophages to activate immune function. Radio-labeled studies have verified that both small and large fragments of beta-glucans are found in the serum, which indicates that they are absorbed from the intestinal tract. M cells within the pyres patches physically transport the insoluble whole glucan particles into the gut-associated lymphoid tissue. Beta-glucan absorption an assay to detect the presence of beta-D-glucan in blood is marketed as a means of identifying invasive or disseminated fungal infections. This test should be interpreted within the broader clinical context, however, as a positive test does not render a diagnosis, and a negative test does not rule out infection. False positives may occur because of fungal contaminants in the antibiotics amoxicillin clavulinate and piperacillin slash tazobactam. False positives can also occur with contamination of clinical specimens with the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Alkaligenes faecalis, which also produce beta D glucan. This test can aid in the detection of Aspergillus, Candida, and Pneumocystis giravesciae. This test cannot be used to detect mucor or rhizopus, the fungi responsible for mucor mycosis, as they do not produce beta-D-glucan. Beta-D-glucan medical application <laughs>